So, more test cutting. We, we've had a customer ask us to perform a test cut on a material I have not worked with before. This is a tooling board. I think it goes by a rim board. This piece is about 24 pounds per cubic foot. It is um, pretty solid. It's, uh, I think, a higher density than pine. Um, it should cut easier than a comparable dense wood, though, just because it has no grain structure. It's nice and even. Um, I can't get my fingernail into it. It's pretty damn hard. 24 pounds per cubic foot, no surprise. So I'm going to do a couple cuts here. First, I'll do a, just a little uh, snip off a, through a one inch, actually through a one and five eighth inch thickness, just to show how it cuts. Then I'll set it up on end and do what's comparable to a resaw cut, cut through a more substantial amount of material. The machine I have to work with today is a model 204, vertical saw, traveling table. This machine has pneumatic blade tensioning. Today we're running a one inch wide, three tooth per inch blade. Uh, running at a speed of about 3,000 feet per minute. This machine has some other nice extras like the laser guideline light. Shows you exactly where on the workpiece or your hand you're going to cut. Um, this is a nice feature for two reasons. First off, it does serve as a locating guide. If you have, for example, a mark on a workpiece, you want to cut on the mark, put the mark on the laser, you're good. Also, as the operator, if you see the laser line on your hand, you really should move your hand before you make the cut. I call this a safety feature. Uh, we have roller blade guides set up on this machine. Actually, it's a special hybrid guide. They have side sliders and a rear wheel, so it's kind of a composite, good for sticky materials or, high, or hard materials. But this material cuts so easily, I don't think it'll be an issue. I'll zoom in a little bit on the cut so you can see just how easy this stuff goes. Adjust the upper guide down. I'm limited here by hitting the fence. So that'll be plenty. I've got my temporary magnets as a work stop and a little temporary work fence here just for positioning aid. Start the saw. Roll the table. Easy cutting stuff. So, no trouble at all. Pretty tough stuff. You can break it, but you have to give it some work. Now we'll set up a little more ambitious cut. Raise this back up. I'm going to try what an old wood guy might call a resaw. Lock it in there pretty good. Put a magnet on the back to keep it from pushing back. I have not done this before, so uh, if you see this video, it worked. This is gonna make a lot of dust. I can lower this down again. This is gonna make a lot of dust. I'll turn on a dust collection system. Pardon the noise. Start the saw. And I'll ease into it. Definitely cut slower going through this material, but it's taking it just fine. Let's get a little more aggressive here. Cutting through this much material is better with a power cable drive. I've got some experience operating saws, but it's hard for me to maintain a constant feed, speed, and pressure, whereas a power cable drive does it automatically. But I think I've got the feel of it here. Maybe a little bit of a warp in the blade well, so we're getting a slight surge in the cut. But I don't believe it's impacting our quality at all. That was 
was not really much of a challenge at all. There's our cut work piece. That's the original side. I don't know how this was cut. Probably somebody's bandsaw. Here's mine. A little more aggressive feed speed and tooth on there, but nice, consistent, even cut. That didn't take terribly long either. So, let's get greedy. What if I try to stand this thing up on end? The machine has a 27 inch working blade length. This is a 24 inch work piece. So in theory, I ought to be able to stand it up like this. Can I get some big magnets? This is deep into experimental territory here. I dislike cutting a workpiece this way. I've got a very tall, narrow workpiece that I'm cutting on, and the potential for getting tippy or shaky is uh, definitely there. So this is um, this is definitely getting greedy. Oh, excellent, thank you. Definitely getting greedy here. Let's see if I can get away with this. I'm quite certain the saw will make the cut. What I'm not so certain about is keeping the workpiece rigid since it's basically standing up here like a uh, Ludwig von Mises skyscraper. Are we clear? Looks good. This is officially getting greedy. again. Probably a little go, I could go faster than this if I had, a, again, a power cable drive. And I could hold a more constant feed, speed and pressure than I could do manually. But we are getting through it. Work piece is wiggling just a little bit. I don't have a rear magnet on it. I'm going to violate one of the rules of bandsawing here. And I'm going to touch the work because we're cutting it. I'm, I'm cutting up such a tiny little sliver here. I don't want it to uh, fall through and get lost. There we go. Well, how about that? A little bit of a taper, bottom to top, but I think that's due to my. Uh... Oh, it did wiggle free a lot of it. That's due to my uh, fixturing here, not the bandsaw. The saw made a perfectly clean, straight cut, even in this uh, really ridiculous setup. So that is what these machines will do on a 24-pound material.